my friends. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing to share with you all. This was sent to me by the fabulous folks over at Crafties, and I am an affiliate for Crafties, and they do occasionally send me kits for me to share with you all and give you a sense for what Crafties has to offer, which is a really nice selection of legally licensed artwork. I've completed several of their kits. I will link to the various post reviews for those kits below. Honestly, I really enjoy working on their kits because they are at a nice snack size usually which snack size just means usually a little bit smaller size really beginner friendly to work on but I think that they have a really nice rendering style and some really fun special drills and stuff like that so I highly encourage you to check them out so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up these do ship in these kind of like poly mailer trash bag style wrappers so it is, it looks like it's double wrapped here. And sometimes the containers do come a little bit, the boxes might come just a little bit crunched. Hold on a second, this is double wrapped and I think there might be mailing info on this inside one. So let me cut this one open too so I'm not showing you anything that I don't want, <laughs> want you to see. But um, Crafties, like I said, they have a really nice selection of licensed artwork. And I like they have, I've completed some kits from like Sybil Art, um, and they have a couple of like old masters, or they call them the classics. Uh, so it's really fun. They're adding new artists uh, somewhat regularly as well. So this one is actually, I think, from a new to me artist. I sent them over a few different kits. I was like, here are a few that I like the look of. If there's one in particular you want to send to me, awesome. So they will include a toolkit that has uh, your basic tools, but like I said, this is really beginner friendly, and so this is going to be really everything you need to do your diamond painting or for beginners to do their diamond painting. Actually, they include <laughs> more than you need. There's a couple of pens, basic pens. It has a multi-placer in the end of one of those. I see, yeah, there's a couple more plastic multi-placers in here. These are the thicker ones. We also have some pink wax in there. That will certainly get you through a whole painting. Uh, some squishies for the pens, make them a little more comfy to hold. A pair of metal tweezers, they're angled. And then a tray, basic white tray. Just a basic toolkit, but like I said, that really truly is gonna be anything and everything that you, well, everything that a beginner is gonna need to do their diamond painting. So let's take a look at this. Looks like they rolled the, the image facing out. Oop, is this release paper? Okay, it almost looks like wax paper. It's real like sheer. I bet this is release paper. Um, I will show you what you can do with this here in just a minute. <laughs> So the title on this piece, let me find it. Cause I, it's, is it just butterfly? I'll find it for you, but she is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> All right, let me find the title. Yeah, here we go. So we have our diamonds and butterfly effect is the name on this one. So there's that original artwork. The artist is Doris Swart, and this is 60 by 50 centimeters and has round shaped diamonds. So it looks like they've packed the diamonds in here. This is actually new to me packaging. Uh, the last time I ordered, I think they had their diamonds packaged in like the larger heat sealed bags or were they zipper Ziploc bags. So these smaller sets of bags, this is new to me. Um, so I wonder if maybe, maybe they've changed manufacturers. I really hope the drill quality is still good, but that is something I am noticing since the last unboxing that I had done, just in case you're noticing it as well. So let me show you a little bit more of the canvas first. So uh, because of how it was rolled, you see there's just a little bit of what looks like wrinkles. Those are not actual wrinkles in the canvas fabric or the glue or anything. Um, that just happens when a canvas is wrapped around diamonds. You'll see that happen with a lot of different companies. Best ways to combat it. One, roll it the opposite direction from the way it was originally rolled. That'll help it lay flat. And then to further get rid of those wrinkles, I like to just peel black, peel back this top plastic cover halfway each direction. And that will help as well. So those, there's no damage to the glue there, you guys. Actually, that's super sticky glue. Do you hear that? pop just for my finger. <laughs> so any of those little wrinkles that you're seeing, that's not actual damage in the glue. That's just a little bit of a deeper crease in the canvas. Doing what I'm doing here with the plastic cover is going to help. What will also help is time. 
In addition to that, I think that storing this flat, like under something heavy, like, or in between some mattresses, or like I have a large portfolio that I store a lot of my flat canvases in um, that is heavy enough that that'll help this flatten out a little bit more easily. That's probably what I'll do with this. Also, I find that once I start working on a canvas that um, just having drills down there and a little bit of work on like just having the canvas flat and working on it will really, really help with those creases. Um, I have seen this sort of like a similar sort of thing with some of my crafties canvases before. And so the reason I'm not panicking is because I have seen these not be an issue. Like I said, I'm going to link to my post reviews for the canvases I've completed. Um, even if the drills look like they might be from a new manufacturer or a little bit different than their usual, this canvas looks about the same, honestly. But let's take a closer look at it anyway. So. We have branding at the top, crafties. Um, the edges, you guys, this is just kind of a, a, a cut. There's no extra finishing. Um, and it can look a little bit rough. Uh, I have seen, this is consistent with what I've worked with before from crafties. The good news is, is I have not actually actively had any issues with fraying on any of my completed canvases from them. Um, <clears throat> if you were really worried about it, I think that you can like, do like a layer of clear nail polish or they have like a finishing thing that you can put on there like that you can order on amazon or something that could help with that if you're worried or if you start to run into issues uh, we have the thumbnail and a schematic up here at the top right and we have our color list it looked like there was an inventory sheet in there as well is that just like a little piece of yeah okay say a little piece of a little piece of thread or something right there uh it looks like we're gonna have a total of 37 colors in this kit the number that you see in the right hand column uh the color list over here this looks like this is going to be the dmc color code which is what most diamond painting companies will use so it's consistent across the board so the color code 3756 will be the same color this like is like an ivory um in every diamond painting if they're using that DMC color code. Looks like we have the same thumbnail and schematic over here at the bottom left. And then here's their website, Crafties. And then they do have uh, some social media platforms to follow along with as well. Looking at the drill field, it's printed really clearly. You can see that there are some really faint guide circles, like the little circles around the symbol to help you place your round diamond more like centered um those will hopefully they should if it's like past kits i've worked on should cover up that circle completely and the symbol completely so that it doesn't show around the diamond but of course we will double check because that can sometimes be an issue but these are so faint i don't think that's going to be a problem the printing is really clear it's not difficult for me to make out the different symbols uh, we do have a nice big section here. This is a really good example of something that we call color blocking. Color blocking is when you have a large section of the same color. You'll have that color in your tray for a while. Uh, and if you like to multi-place, you can multi-place your way through that section and it will go more quickly usually. Um, uh, by contrast, kind of the opposite of that, maybe this is a good example, is what we call confetti. So confetti is when you have lots of color changes in a small area. Usually you'll be single placing through there and, and be changing out the color in your tray more often. Those sections tend to take a little bit longer to finish, but it usually results in more detail, which is great. So here is her face. Now with darker skin tones, sometimes you run the risk of it looking orangish or pinkish. So the colors on the canvas make me just a tiny bit nervous. We'll look at those drill colors when we're actually looking at the diamonds because I want to see what they've charted those as. The options for shades of brown in the DMC are not as extensive as paler skin tones, and so sometimes that can be a bit of a struggle. Um, and this pretty blue butterfly here. And then this background. Okay, so parts of it are color blocked, all this like sigma symbol here. But this is this might mess with my eyes a little bit, you guys. So if you look up here, we have kind of freely confetti mixed that sigma symbol and the letter Z. Those look a bit like just similar to my eye. They're printed clearly. I'm not in danger of actually mixing them up from reading them on the canvas, but just to my own eye, it's gonna take me a minute to like read those and make sure that I'm not <laughs> 
like going cross-eyed over it. So those are a little bit similar. I would be more interested if there were a bigger contrast. Like here, see, we've got like a number one mixed in. <laughs> that's a little bit more, that's a little bit more distinct. That might be nice if it were a bit more distinct than that. But um, anyway, that's our canvas. Let me show you, let's take a look at some of these diamonds and um, the inventory sheet as well. So here's that inventory sheet that's been included. It looks like they have checked to make sure we have the correct number of colors in here. There are some instru basic instructions, probably from the manufacturer, about how to diamond paint. Um, and yeah, 37 colors. Oh, I also, I meant to let you know about this. I think this is release paper. Um, this is, it's a little bit thinner and floppier, but this is for people that don't necessarily enjoy working with the plastic cover. You can actually, um, lay this down instead. I'm going to test it in a small corner to make sure this is actually release paper. It is. Okay, so that's safe to put down. I will say, I will caution you right away though, that um, wax paper is not safe to put on a canvas. Even though this looks like wax paper, this is not wax paper. Um, wax paper is not safe to put on a canvas. It will stick to your glue <laughs> and be highly problematic. Uh, parchment paper usually is. If you're trying out something like what I just showed you and you want to make sure like this is safe to put on the canvas, I recommend just peeling up a corner like I just did, test it on a really small area and see if it peels off easily. Maybe even leave it there for a few minutes or an hour and then come back and make sure it's still peeling off easily just to play it super safe. Uh, anyway, I was going to mention to you guys that this is printed on paper and what I'm probably going to do is cut this out. Uh, like the symbol on the DMC probably into a little strip. And I'm gonna feed that through a sticker maker that I have. I will link to the sticker maker that I like to use on Amazon. Um, it's a Xyron sticker maker and it kind of, it comes in and out of stock. So uh, it just kind of depends if it's in stock when you happen to be watching this video and go look. But I, it's, it's really easy and really inexpensive. So that makes it really easy for any companies like this one that don't necessarily send a sticker sheet. Um, I can cut this out and feed it through the sticker maker and then use these labels on my storage containers when I put these diamonds into them or kit them up. So I appreciate that they do include the inventory sheet because I feel like maybe they don't always, like they haven't always done that. So that's a nice change. Uh, like I mentioned, it looks like they have shifted over into these drills that come in these tiny baggies, um, which this is a little bit much for me in, the, in terms of plastic waste. Um, but I know some companies do ship out on these, but I kind of, I did like the way they did it before. The good news is the drill quality looks nice from what I can see. We've got these really pretty shades of like blue and some peaches. Let's take a look. What are her skin tones charted as? I really particularly want to look at these because, oh, you know what though? I'll still look, but on the, in the original artwork, that actually is a really orangish red, almost coral streak on her cheek that I think was done intentionally for artistic effect. But let's still just take a look and see what are some of her skin tone colors gonna be. So that is, let's see, that's the letter G. Looking for 814. Maybe that's in this bag. Let's take a look. And then number four was 304. Okay. What's 340? Okay. And then 814. Is that. Nope. I will find it. Let's pull them all out, but I will find it. Maybe it was in the other bag. I know that I'm seeing it in here. There we go. All right, so... Uh, these brighter streaks, these almost coral streaks, and this is in her lips as well. How well that's gonna show up. So it's this bright, that brightest part of her cheek is gonna be this color, which is literally red. And then the immediate next color is a deep, deeper red. 
And then the actual, the skin tones, like the larger part, like the, the deeper brown parts here, look like they're this color, which does have some red undertones. So I am not totally sure how that's gonna look. It's possible that against like some of these blues and grays and the really artistic effect um, that the artist has done with this piece that this may work. It's hard to know until we've seen all those colors come together on the canvas, but I did just wanna pull a few of those DMC colors just to show you what it looks like it's been charted at first glance. This color is kind of that primary, that's the main skin tone we're seeing, like the darkest skin tone that we're seeing, like here on her collarbone and shoulders um, and on her cheeks and on this side of her head. And then this is a little bit, this is a lighter color over here. So just FYI, because I know a lot of times people are curious to see what the skin tones are going to look like. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is this kit. The drill quality looks good. We do have a big strand of this 3865. Um, that white color. Looking at the diamonds themselves, I'm not good at telling whether diamonds are resin or acrylic. Uh, but at least taking a look at what the quality seems to be. Let me look at some darker diamonds. I'm not noticing like trash or like wildly inconsistent drills in terms of size. So I am optimistic about the quality of the drills, which is good. Uh, but yeah, you guys, this is the kit. Uh, let me double check that again. Butterfly effect. It's licensed from the artist Doris Swart, which what it means, by the way, in case you're new and you're not sure, if a, if a piece is licensed from an artist, that means that the company has both gotten the permission of the artist for the use of their artwork and is compensating the artist for the use of their artwork. So you're only really ever gonna see me promoting um, shops that are supporting artists here on my channel. So that's what I try to feature and support. Um, also, I do have a discount code that you're welcome to use. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen for you guys. And it's also always in my description box. I believe it's for as a one-time use code. So if you've used it already, I don't think you can use it again. Um, but, or maybe for first time customers, I'll leave a note in the description so you know, but feel free to take a look at that and use it if you like. Please don't feel obligated because it is an affiliate code. I may make a small commission on it. What I do say though, is to subscribe to Crafties' emails and or follow them on social media because they do often run sales. And that's a really good way to take advantage and not pay full price for your order. I definitely suggest doing that so that you can save a little bit of money either way so uh this was butterfly effect from crafties they sent it over for me to share with all of you this month thank you again to crafties for doing so this looks like it's going to be really pretty and it looks like it may be from a newer manufacturer so i am really curious to see how this works up and how it compares to past kits that i worked on from them because this one does not appear to include any ABs or special drills like some of the others have. I was taking a look at their website and they do note uh, whether or not kits come with any special drills or whether or not you can choose if, it, if you get a kit in round or square drills. So just be sure you're taking a close look at the listing before you buy so that you know exactly what you're getting and you're not feeling like I'm misleading you. So just FYI, take, take a close look at that listing first. I'm gonna let you guys go though. If you enjoyed this video, would you please give it a thumbs up before you head out? I would super appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my community. All right, my friends, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.